What's up? Welcome to Side Stage, a weekly metal, hardcore, and punk news show. In case you don't already follow me, I'm Carly Gwen. I'm Hair Metal X on Instagram. I'm an alternative model, I'm an actor, I'm a stand-up comic, I do hair and makeup, and I'm also a radio personality. And I love metal. Going to shows is probably my favorite thing to do in my free time. My favorite bands are Under Oath, August Burns Red, Counterparts, Straight From The Path, and Gideon. My first tattoo was an Under Oath tattoo. It's right here on my arm. It's lyrics from one of my favorite songs and they're my favorite band ever. I also host a podcast called The Ladies of Metal Show where I interview metal, punk, and hardcore bands, usually at shows, but through the quarantine and COVID and everything, um, some of it has been over the phone, over the internet, over Skype. So that's really fun. I really enjoy doing that and you can find it on any podcast platform. Just search The Ladies of Metal Show. And I think that's it. Now let's see what happened this week. First off, I'm repping Bring Me The Horizon merch today. This is a bit of an old one, but I've been a fan for a long time. And you'll see why I picked this in just a second. So this is the first episode of 2022. So we got to talk new records. Loudwire and Kerrang! released some great, most anticipated of 2022 lists this week. I'll link all the articles in the description box below so you can check everything out. It's too much to list. But on those lists and probably favorites of mine are Parkway Drive, Slipknot, Code Orange, Behemoth, Anthrax, Arch Enemy, Bring Me The Horizon. Yes, they did say it would be more screamo and emo influences this time. So I think it's gonna be a little bit closer to the EP they released. Um, there's only like a couple songs on it, obviously, but it was so good. I think it came out in maybe 2019 in the fall. So really looking forward to new music from Bring Me The Horizon. Also on that list, Old School Vibes, Megadeth, and Metallica. We're supposed to get a new Metallica record this year. And last year, they had 1.3 billion streams on Spotify. That's insane. Motionless in White is on that list. Ozzy, also We Came as Romans. So lots of different genres covered on those lists. Lamb Goat announced Dying Fetus are preparing a new album as well. Revocation, one of my favorite metal bands, posted this week that their new record is complete and it will be out this fall. Dead American, which is Cove Reber of Seosin's new band, if you haven't been keeping up with them, they do have like an EP and some singles out that came out maybe between 2018 and 2020. But I'm really excited because they're finally putting out a full length. It's called New Nostalgia and that'll be out February 11th. And blast from the past, I can't even believe this, Molotov Solution posted on Instagram this week that they were in studio with Will Putney who's an amazing human being, one of the best metal and heavy genre producers and also guitarists in the game. Um, I had him on my podcast, The Ladies of Metal Show, last year. So he was a, a joy to talk to, a very smart human being. And Molotov Solutions last record came out in 2011. So it's been a minute and I'm excited to see what those guys are up to. In tour news, Polaris announced a huge spring tour this week with direct support from Like Moss to Flames and a band I've recently gotten into called Alpha Wolf. So make sure you check those guys out and that'll be March 12th to April 16th. Wage War kicks off their tour as direct support for Falling in Reverse, which seems kind of like a strange mashup. Also, Hawthorne Heights is on that tour. That kicks off next week, January 13th through February 4th. And the last 10 seconds of life head out with Cattle Decapitation. That is probably the heaviest tour of all time. Creeping Death is also on that tour. That's January 18th through February 20th. And new releases in January. Under Oath, like I said, my favorite band ever, releases their ninth studio record called Voyeurist next Friday, January 14th. Comeback Kid is releasing their next full length called Heavy Steps on January 21st. And not just a new tour, but also a new record, The Last 10 Seconds of Life, their self-titled record comes out on January 28th. Also on your radar, Texas in July played August Burns Red's Christmas show last week. And after years of being on hiatus, they posted on Instagram this week and the caption said, 2022, what do you have in store for us? I'm kind of excited. So I'm definitely keeping an eye on them. Uh, they were one of my favorite bands back in the day. That's kind of like one of the bands I saw all the time. Um, so I'm really excited to see if they'll be touring more, maybe some new music, that would be awesome. And a band that should be on your radar if they're not already is Scion. This is a side project with YouTuber um, and guitarist Jared Dines. 
and also original vocalist for Killswitch Engage, Howard Jones. So this band rules. They have a, a self-titled full length that's out now and you can check it out on Bandcamp or anywhere you stream music. Highly recommend. And that wraps it up for our first episode of Side Stage. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss an episode. They'll be coming out every Friday, so you'll be up to date with everything that's going on in the metal universe. And make sure you like this video if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to check out my podcast, The Ladies of Metal Show. You can search it on any podcast platform. And join my fam on the gram, at Hair Metal X. I'm Carly Gwen, this is The Side Stage. Thanks for watching. See you next Friday.